have this idea for this fire. I'm looking to build a bow drill. The bow, in this case, is gonna be about three feet long. It's made from green material. This seems like it'd be strong enough right here. Now that I've got my bow, I just need to find the rest of the materials for the kit. So right now I'm carving the spindle and a hearth board out of the chaka tree, which is a great tree for starting fire. So this will be the spindle right here, and then this is the hearth up here. The bow drill is made up of a spindle and a hearth board. Friction between the two pieces is generated by a bow that drives the spindle and creates an ember in the hearth. I'm gonna go ahead and use the strap for my sandal for the bow. The lace makes a great string for the bow drill because it's leather and it grabs a spindle, you know, unlike a nylon cord would. So I had this idea to build a modified bow drill. Basically, I'm taking a log from the forest, propping it up and wedging it between two trees. Traditionally, with the bow drill, what I'd be doing is holding the spindle down and I'd be putting a lot of pressure with this left hand and I'd be bowing with this hand. What we have here is a system that uses gravity to hold down the spindle, so hopefully I'll be able just to sit back, use two hands, and get this fire going. Anytime you're making a fire with new materials, you have no idea what's going to happen. I'm expecting this thing to heat up a lot faster, but it's not lighting. Honestly, I think it still needs a little weight, but we'll give it a go. <laughs> Looks like I do have a coal there. Now it's time to move that coal carefully. This is the key. You want to cradle it like a newborn baby. Gently put it in the nest, nurture that thing, and lift it up to the wind, and that should be its first breath. See, the wind's kind of swirling around, but it's going against my back now. That's where I want it. Just gently blow on it, and then it'll come into flame. <laughs> 